Well, well, let me ask you this. Being bilingual, how was it for you when you got early success? Were you able to tour? Did you did you were you able to go out and perform? What was that like for you? Yeah, man. Um, I started rapping like basically doing open mics and everything. Okay. And it, and 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 it was kind of funny, man, because a lot of my friends were not into hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It was it was still kind of like a novelty thing. And then especially to be into it like seriously, and take it serious, man. I got a cool story actually. I met um, Steve Lobel two years ago. Shout out. You know Steve Lobel? Yeah. Shout out to Steve Lobel. Yeah, and, and Steve is my man. I mean, I was uh, in LA with him last month. We hooked up a couple of times, and he just gave me the biggest compliment because he said, "Like, yo, we're cut from the same cloth, brother." Is and he? like, he's a he's like a deep hip hop dude as a manager, and 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 and, and in many different ways. But for me, sometimes people out here they used to say, "Like, oh, you take hip hop too serious," and I'm like, "Well, you don't take it serious enough." So there you for go. me, to be in the states recently and get a compliment like that from Steve Lobel, that kind of sums up what it is. Because to get back to your question, as a bilingual dude, it was kind of. It was cool, but it was difficult as well because people just looked at it as either a gimmick or right. as a thing that's underground. And they used to say, "Yo, it's never going to work. You know, you're never going to be able to make hip hop in Dutch and be, have it be successful. And you, you might as well quit. You know, this, that, and the third. But to me, hip hop is also like doing what you want, telling your story. Don't ask for permission and just be yourself, man. So I did that. And then um, the funny thing is, when I got back to really rhyming in English. I mean, not really got back to it, but when I focused on it more, yeah. then you got a lot of people in Europe saying like, yeah, well, you know, there's enough English language rappers in the States. Why would you want to do that? Like, people are always kind of like knocking it. Right. And the funny thing to me is rap is so big, mm -hmm. but people like tend to knock hip hop. And yes. it's funny because you can't knock the roots from a tree if you want to be one of the branches. So that part, you know, that's, that's kind of what it was <laughs> as a kid for me as well, being bilingual. I think it's just an honest way, if I may say so. Yes. You know, to look at it, that's really how I managed to really keep going. Actually, well, well, that's a that's that's trust me, it's an excellent, it's a super compliment to get from a guy, a legend in the game like Steve Lobel. First off, that in itself, you gotta yes, you gotta know, you gotta know. Humble, yeah. So, so with that said, um, do you okay? So. We can pretty much tell, well, as I say, we, I mean, old school, we can tell by listening to you that you're very well versed. 